Hi, in this video I'll show you a quick and dirty way to um, transfer a BlueJay project into Eclipse. Uh, let's look at the sample BlueJay project. Uh, right here is the folder where I keep these projects. Notice the name here. And here's the project. As I said, a BlueJay project uh, is a folder. But if we go through the BlueJay dialog, um, it recognizes that the folder contains a BlueJ project and gives it this distinctive icon. But it is still a folder. So let's select it, open the project, and uh, this is a Carl Robot project in which the robot simply um, uh, navigates around uh, a, an obstacle, in this case a wall. And here's the world file and that will uh, be important a little later. Um, the world file is actually uh, placed inside the project, so here it is. So let's go ahead and run this to see what it looks like. And we see the robot uh, just goes around the wall to reach the beeper. And it's this wall and the beeper that are in the world file. I show you how to create these world files elsewhere. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, we're done with BlueJ. And uh, here's Eclipse. Uh, we have uh, two projects in the Explorer. Uh, if you forget where your workspace is, the way to find that out is to say File, Switch Workplace, and then other and for some reason I have to do this twice I don't know if you'll encounter this something is weird here but anyway the dialog box comes up and this default path uh, is where your current workspace is so I have that open here and you can see there are more folders than there are projects the folders uh, have to be uh, registered with Eclipse, so to speak, before they'll show up in the Package Explorer. So this additional folder doesn't show up, and this is where all that data uh, is kept by Eclipse. So anyway, what I'm going to do is um, make a copy of the BlueJ project package uh, in the Eclipse workspace. I'll make a copy so that I, uh, I have my original in case I uh, still want to run it in BlueJ or something. One other thing I'm going to do is open that folder and make a copy of the world file uh, at the top level. Wait a second, what happened here? At the top level uh, of the Eclipse workspace. because uh, when we finally run this project, uh, it will be using the uh, workspace as the current directory, and uh, the file has to be here so that the uh, program will be able to find it. Okay, uh, now, in order to, uh, uh, so to speak, import this project, uh, we have to do something a little bit tricky and maybe not quite legal, but it seems to work. Uh, we click File, New, uh, Java Project, and we have to give the project the exact name of the directory that we want to import, so to speak. So we'll say P21 Prob 1. That rather inelegant name uh, means that the problem is on page 21 of the Carl book and it's problem 1. So P21 Prob 1. Okay, uh, we'll take the defaults, click Next. Uh, we get an error message, but it doesn't seem to be a problem, so we'll just ignore it and uh, click Finish. Okay, the little X here means we have a problem, not uh, surprising, but we should be able to resolve this pretty quickly. Let's open up the project. Uh, it's created a uh, default package for us. 
and here's our file so we'll double click to open it okay um, anytime uh, there is a squiggly red line uh, it means that something's wrong that uh, there is an error or Eclipse doesn't recognize something and uh, the source of this problem is uh, we don't it doesn't know where to find the Carl the robot library uh, I showed you how to add this in BlueJay. Uh, the simplest way to do it here is to mouse over uh, the import target and we get some suggestions for fixing it. The fix we want to do is fix project setup. Uh, it couldn't figure out how to fix it automatically so it asks us to do it manually and we click here to accomplish that. Now what we want need to do here is choose the library tab and then add the Carl uh, jar file to it. We click add external jar and I will go uh, here's where I keep it uh, you just need to navigate to wherever you keep it and select it click open and that's it now we've added the uh, Carl robot library and all these problems uh, go away so uh, so we we copied over our directory we turned it into a uh, Java project we added the Carl uh, jar library uh, where Eclipse uh, where this project can now find it and finally uh, as I indicated before we copied oh shoot where is this ah here we are we copied the world file uh, to the very top level of our workspace where the program will be able to find it uh, having done all that we should be able to run it let's give it a try okay there we, there we are it seems we were successful uh, at present I have another video which will let you uh, do this in a more proper except more elaborate fashion but we're basically accomplishing the same things so uh, hope that helps see you next time